The discovery of a body found lying face down in this ditch on Saturday morning has family and friends of 52-year-old Jorge Lemos puzzled. The Unitedville resident was last seen by his brother on Friday night after leaving their mother's house sometime around 9 o'clock. Around after it, I got to my mom's house. And when I met it at my mom's house, he reached there for around 9. He reached there. And, well, uh, he got there and, you know, take long, maybe only about 10 minutes, stay there and then gone back. Where her hair returned to upon leaving his mother's house is anyone's guess. The next time Victor Lemos would see his younger sibling was to identify his remains inside a nearby drain. I mean, Saturday morning, then, then called me, received a call from my sister, and she told me that uh, they find out my brother in our dream, and it looked it look like a dead, he told me. And, but she not sure because then just call she and tell her. And well, I gone to see what happened and when I come out of the road, I see a lot of people there around by the culvert. And well, I may think that uh, more far, but when I come out, uh, I see a lot of people there around. So uh, I stop there and I can see where, where it happened. Then I see the body of my brother in a um, pool of water. According to San Ignacio Police, whose jurisdiction within the Cayo district extends to Unitedville, Lemos's body was observed with an injury to the face. He was seen with a bruise to the left eye. Uh, he was transported to the Western Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Is foul play suspected in this particular incident? We are, we are investigating the matter. We are um, recording st statements from persons who, who saw him. Um, we have learned that uh, he visited an, an Alika establishment um, sometime after midnight that night and um, that was the last um, sighting of him. Corroborating that statement, the brother of the deceased Mason also mentions that Lemos, described as a heavy drinker, was last seen by other villagers in the area of that unnamed establishment. He used to like drink a lot because sometimes I talk to him uh, my mom used to talk to him that uh, that bad and sometimes late hours at night he dip on the street. I never know that uh, if he drop uh, by self, he drop there, maybe get drunk, I said, well he drop there and drunk it, but uh, what I noticed that the, the pool never deep. So uh, then afterwards uh, uh, people find the, the, the sleepers over that side uh, the road and then find the sleepers and one knife one knife without mm, handle I came to the person from the from the bar explained to me that uh, he left on the bar after 12 and uh, the limony where he me got uh, he, he made the count money and some some people made their wrong. I say, well, that bad because some people they watch and see where it happened. So, and to me, it looked like maybe somebody see him that the guy leave money. So uh, then follow him from there, and because he he made there by himself, and nobody made there with him. The family strongly believes that their loved one was attacked, fatally injured, and then dragged across the highway before being disposed of near an adjacent culvert. Police, on the other hand, are awaiting the outcome of an autopsy before proceeding with their investigation. We are waiting on the post-mortem results to confirm what caused this death. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.